Hello everyone, welcome back to Rip City Rundown, and today we are talking about the Portland Trailblazers' biggest offseason addition, Jeremy Grant. Grant has had an incredible season so far, and he has helped the Blazers to a 19-17 and record, which is good for 7th in the Western Conference. His season has been so good that it has put him on the fringe of all-star consideration. In fact, it would not be crazy to say that Grant is the best wing that star guard Damian Lillard has ever played with. Because Grant's season has been so fantastic, Grant has a chance to become the first all-star that Lillard plays with in his career. Today, we will look at the case Grant has been building and why I think it should be enough to get Grant an all-star nod. Let's start off with some simple stats. Grant is averaging 22.4 points per game, 4.3 rebounds, and 2.7 assists on 49.1% from the field and 44.6% from three. Grant is in the 96th percentile among all NBA players in three-point percentage, and that includes every single player who has at least attempted one three. When you decrease the pool of players to players who have attempted over 200 threes, Grant leads this entire grouping in three-point percentage. He's been better than volume shooters like Steph Curry and Trey Young, and he's been better than three-point specialists like Buddy Heald. He's also making 2.7 threes per game which shows that he is consistent from behind the arc as well. He has scored 30 plus points in seven games already, including a 44 point performance in Madison Square Garden, where he shot 10 of 20 from the field and made 21 free throws. Let's play a little prediction game. Right now, the All-Star game offers 24 spots, 12 from each conference. The starting spots are given to two guards and three forwards, and the reserve spots are given to two guards, three forwards, and then two spots of any position. In total, that's four guards, six forwards, and two so-called wild cards. In Grant's case, he must be at least one of the six best forwards in the Western Conference, or seven if the coaches and the media decide to give a wild card spot to a forward. Right now, the locks to make the All-Star game at a forward spot are Nikola Jokic, LeBron James, and Zion Williamson, in my opinion. After those three, it becomes difficult. The players that I would consider would be Paul George, Jeremy Grant, Anthony Davis, DeMontis Sabonis, Laurie Markkinen, and Kawhi Leonard. Players that I left out due to injury and therefore I don't think would qualify for an all-star nod would be Carl Anthony Towns and Brandon Ingram. And honestly, we should probably not consider Anthony Davis either because by the time the all-star game rolls around, he will have missed too many games to be considered in my opinion. That leaves Paul George, DeMontis Sabonis, Laurie Markkinen, and Jeremy Grant for three theoretical spots. Let's compare these players Let's compare Markkanen and Grant first. Markkanen is averaging 23.8 points per game on 53% shooting and 43% from three. He also grabs 8.5 rebounds per game. He's in the 99th percentile for points per shot attempt while Grant is in the 96th percentile. Off the bat, Markkanen is a slightly better scorer but slightly less efficient and he's a much better rebounder than Jeremy Grant. Grant has never been known to be a good to great rebounder. Markkanen is slightly better than Grant as a scorer, and like I said, a much better rebounder, but Grant is more efficient from the field. They are similar defensively, although I would give an edge to Grant because he does take on the toughest assignment from the opposing team each night. However, with the All-Star game in Utah this year, I think Markkanen will end up in the All-Star game. But I would take Grant over Markkanen because he is putting up similar production even though Laurie is the number one option and Grant is not. This means Grant is putting up similar numbers and less opportunities. Let's move on to Paul George. George is scoring 24 points per game on 45% from the field and 38% from three. Between the two, Grant has been a better, more efficient scorer. He shoots the ball better and is more efficient from the field. Grant takes 15 shots a game while George takes just under 19 a game. However, Paul George is the much better defender, rebounder, and playmaker because he is asked to do so much in a Clipper offense that lacks the availability of Kawhi Leonard night in and night out. I also believe Paul George is deserving of a nod, but this is another razor-thin margin. If you ask me, I would probably take Paul George over Jeremy Grant because Paul George has carried a Clippers team that has not had Kawhi Leonard night in and night out, and Paul George also just impacts the game much more than Jeremy Grant, and their scoring and shooting is close enough to where I don't think Grant's is much better than George in this capacity. The last player is DeMontis Sabonis. Sabonis is averaging 18.6 points per game, 12.4 rebounds per game, and 6.6 assists per game. Again, Grant is the better scorer and shooter, but Sabonis easily clears Grant when it comes to playmaking and rebounding. Defensively, they are very similar, so I won't give an edge to either player. Sabonis is obviously a better paint defender and a defender at the rim, 
while Grant is better in space, on the perimeter, and around screens. Here's the interesting part, though. Sabonis' teammate De'Aaron Fox is also playing at an all-star level. Would, Would the, the NBA, NBA really give two spots to the Kings? I doubt it. I believe Sabonis could be an all-star, but if Fox outplays him, I don't think Sacramento would be awarded two spots. They are the fifth seed in the Western Conference right now, but will they really keep this up come February and come the all-star break? This could leave the door open for Grant. It is another razor-thin margin, and in my opinion, I would probably take Sabonis over Grant, but if Fox gets a nod, then you got to probably think Sabonis is not considered. As dumb as that sounds, that's probably the case when it comes to the NBA. Out of these four players, Grant is arguably the best scorer and shooter of the bunch, and is arguably a top two defender among these four as well. I obviously think Paul George is number one out of these four, but Grant is arguably top two. I think all four of these players deserve a bid, and they all might if the NBA and the media and the fans and the coaches decide to give a seventh spot to a forward using one of the two wildcard spots. But Grant definitely deserves a bid as he has been the best player on the Blazers when Damian Lillard has been hurt, and he has put in some huge performances to keep the Blazers afloat. In addition, this has been a career year for Grant on the offensive end, and he has routinely guarded the opposing team's best player night in and night out. This is why I believe Jeremy Grant should be an all-star. He's having a career year, he's been playing hard on defense, taking the best assignment each night, and what do you do with guys who have career years and who have had a track record of being an all-star French player? You finally give him that nod. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Who do you guys think deserve to be an all-star? Who do you guys think deserves an all-star nod? I can tell you one thing, Jeremy Grant gets my vote. We'll see you next time.